Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 46. So one last video on email designs today inside of our designs applet, and that's the ability to take a template, make edits to it, and actually use it for your email campaigns instead of creating one from scratch. So let's dive back into the designs applet one more time. And we want to go in to create a design and we're gonna do an email design. And this is where, remember, you'll see that list of templates that are available. Now that you're familiar with the different components that are available, editing these design templates is going to be significantly easier. So let's just start with the first one here. We've got modern open house. So we're gonna click on it and click on next. Now we're still gonna see our same list of content here on the right hand side, all of the available components that we can add, but this one's already begun to be built out for us. So if we look through this, we can see that it starts off and it always kind of starts off with your Market Center logo at the very top and you can preview that. So if you want this to look a little bit different, you can, right? So what I would do um, I'm always a big fan of the legal header, no offense to our amazing marketing team, but I would actually remove this image header here and I would drop in the legal header. Just to give you an idea of the difference of what that looks like, you can then see what that looks like from here. Now on the screen from there, you've got uh, open house as a text component. Remember the text box so you can see that. If for any reason you want to change what is said in there, you can come in, make any of the same edits that we had originally. Um, uh, again, I'm always a big fan of centering things, so I'm going to click on center. Then we have got our text box and text inside of that. So if you want to make changes to that, you can always go in and again, click on it. You're looking for that pencil icon and going from there. You can click on any of the additional components that are in here and make edits as well. Um, and then again, just the same exact thing that you're going along. Remember, this is a button. We talked about the button component. You always want to make sure you click on the pencil on all of these items because right now this is a great button, but it doesn't lead anywhere. So you would want to make sure that you made edits to this button and then you actually directed it to a landing page or web address. Obviously, you're not going to put in this sort of text, the Latin text. You would want to go in and change all of your paragraphs as well. Um, and you know, kind of go through and tweak. Remember, anytime you're doing this, you absolutely always want to preview as the first step. And then the second step I would recommend again is to send yourself a test email. So you can go through and do that with any of the templates that are available inside of the designs library. Uh, you can see inside of the designs email library, I mean, there again, 72 different templates that are available. Um, there's luxury templates inside of here. There are templates that are great for kind of newsletter style. Uh, here you've got refinancing, mortgage modification, chill your bills, financial health, etc. If you're looking for some sort of email content. Um, again, just a whole variety of different templates available. I would definitely recommend you spend some time and kind of go through. Uh, there's even a few holiday templates. Right now it's December 19th. So this happy holidays template might play well as well. If we were just to take a look at that, we could come in and say, here it is. Uh, you know, just wanted to share immense gratitude and thanks for you being a great client. And it's got all the information there and we can take a look and see what that looks like. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, but as far as timing goes, maybe a great time to send that out if you're watching this live or within the next couple of days here, uh, December 19th, 2022. Last thing I wanted to show you inside of designs is that ability to actually import your own content. So if we discard these changes, you can see that there is an opportunity to import a design. Um, and if you do that, actually, let's go to, that's going to do uh, actual import design from, here we go. So you can actually come in and start from your own designs library and actually bring in content for any of the categories that we've talked about before. Um, so a lot of features underneath this button here as well. Again, this encapsulates our social posts, our email designs, all of those types of things. Um, if you're specifically looking at in bringing in an email design, perhaps something that you created inside of MailChimp or Constant Contact, but you want to use 
KW command mail to send it out. You do need to be inside the design email portion. This is where you can see that import HTML. And this is where you would bring in that code. So you can choose to paste the HTML code right here. Or if you've got the actual file, you can import the actual HTML file that you may have exported from those two sources, such as MailChimp or Constant Contact or props, even Canva or something along those lines. So that's the last step. Uh, foregoing the templates all together and the editor all together and creating it in another program, but exporting that actual HTML file and then importing it into command. That would sort of be another option with regards to creating an email design inside of Kim, uh, command. That's it for today, guys. We are shifting out of design starting tomorrow. We're going to get into the listing applet, take a little bit of a look at that. Then we'll dive into consumer and start putting it all together. We'll have a little bit on DocuSign, a little bit on Teams, some additional videos here yet to come. So as always, great talking to you. Look forward to talking to you again real soon.